good? We're good. Awesome. good. All right. Um, so, Joe, we can see your um, like Zoom thing now. So, if you, you just want to um, screen share, and then whenever you are ready, you can turn it Sounds off. good. All right. Does that look good? Uh, yeah, wait, wait, hold on. Let me yeah, press present and then let me move this little box out of the way. Okay, all you, Joe. Awesome. All right, hello, everyone. Uh, sorry, I couldn't be with you in person. I'm Joe, and I'm here to talk about gut solutions. All right, but before I get into this, I want to introduce you to Gary. Gary, he's, a, uh, he's an active guy. Uh, he likes to play sports. He likes to mow his lawn. Um, but every now and then, Gary gets heartburn, and this slows him down. But Gary, he doesn't want to take a pill. Um, and so he's feeding into this overall problem, which is half of Americans living with gut symptoms. Um, and they're spending like over a billion dollars, six billion dollars each year on so Nexium and Modium. These are diarrhea and heartburn drugs. Uh, so it's a pretty expansive issue. And that's where Gut Solutions comes in. So basically, the core feature of this app is you select a symptom, and it gives you a research-based food recommendation uh, using the power of the microbiome. So this is a new field in healthcare that's been pretty revolutionary in the last few years. Um, lots of new research and startups around uh, therapeutics related to the microbiome. Um, so basically that's what this app uses to give you food recommendations to leverage the power of your microbiome to address your gut symptom. And so this is just an example of how it works. You select the symptom. So for example, diarrhea, classic. Uh, and it would give you a food recommendation that based on microbiome research uh, has shown to alleviate that symptom uh, by eating these foods. Or um, it would tell you also foods to stay away from. And so here's a mock-up. Uh, basically, this is just, again, showing the core new feature. Uh, you select your symptom, you get a food recommendation. Also, we do food tracking uh, and symptom tracking. Uh, this is what other competitors do. Um, so we can, we can do that too, it's just symptom tracking. And again, this meets demand of, with the customer research I've done on forums for uh, gut health um, and just in general, people, you know, they prefer not to take a pill and some of these symptoms are kind of like in between, they're not severe enough to go to see a doctor. Um, so this addresses that need. And so just a broad view of competition, so not specific apps yet, but so again, seeing a doctor, it's, it can be expensive. Uh, just going down the rabbit hole online, trying to figure out how to treat yourself uh, is a hassle and also everything you see isn't um, validated. And then finally, academic research, which is what our app is pulling from, is hard uh, to access. So we're allowing you to just select your symptom and get a research-based recommendation along with other features that I described. And then, so these are other apps that are symptom trackers for, uh, this is, they're specific to IBD, which is an inflammatory bowel disorder. So basically, Cara Care and Bowel, and they allow you to track your food and, and track your symptoms. Um, and that's, that's really it. What Gut Solutions does is they, again, they allow that food and symptom tracking, um, but they'll give you that symptom specific recommendation. Uh, also using the power of like the microbiome, as I said. Um, these other apps, they, they have like recipes um, and there's like an outline of what you should eat, which is it's called a FODMAP diet, um, which is basically just a, a very broad, non-symptom specific diet. Um, so that's where we really differentiate. And then you see we have a competitive cost. These apps are fairly expensive. So this is just... Uh, a rough revenue and expenses chart uh, my co-founder and I made. Uh, 
So basically, we're going to spend a lot on marketing uh, to get this out there into forums, um, just online, uh, Instagram advertisements, everywhere we can. Uh, and we plan to develop our app over the summer uh, and eventually, uh, yeah, we just add features. And that's more in detail over here. So yeah, so right now I've actually built a mock-up website uh, just with some of the basic features that I explained. Um, but so we'll be focusing on advertisements and uh, development and receiving product feedback uh, over the summer and then fall 2022 is when we want to do our app launch and then we'll continue to uh, develop the app after that with the hope of adding dietitians, um, connecting dietitians to users uh, down the line. And so yeah, just briefly, this is our team. So I'm Joe, I've been doing microbiome research for uh, two years now. Um, Dr. Moses actually, he, he was my mentor uh, since high school. Uh, he's a gastroenterologist, so I got doctor. Um, and I'm a chemical engineer. Daniel, he's another co-founder. He's traveling, he couldn't be with us today. Uh, but he's a biomedical engineer. He's had experience in uh, healthcare-related startups. And then Will, he's a uh, computer science major at Dartmouth, and so he'll be helping us develop the product. And that is it. Thank you so much for listening uh, to Gut Solutions, and uh, please let me know if you have any questions. It might be hard to hear your questions, though, um, so bear with me. So you mentioned microbiome as part of this, but uh, it doesn't seem as though you're actually sampling the microbiome of the customer who's using this. Sorry, like, can you repeat that? Are you the actually last sampling the microbiome of the user of your app? No, no. So it's based on, it's not specific to their microbiome, but it's based on research uh, that relates food. Um, how do I explain this the best? That yeah, it's just basically using research that's linked that food to um, beneficial health effects uh, through the microbiome. So it, it, no, it is not specific to each user's microbiome. Right. So, so, but, so I guess the challenge here, though, is that if you're only basing it on symptoms as opposed to microbiome, then you're going to, and if you're constraining the solution to be just food, you may be suggesting a change in diet when it's actually a bacterial infection. Yeah, so, no, yeah, we definitely don't claim that this will help everything. Um, but, so again, with the food and symptom trackers, which a lot of the competitors do, allow you to see, like, if, yeah, if it's what something you're eating um, that's causing your symptoms. Uh, but, I mean, again, it could, it could be, you're right, like a bacterial or some sort of other disease that is an underlying cause. But we do think that getting those features out there um, making it accessible can help a lot of people. The only other comment I had is on your um, financial plan. Uh, mm -hmm. 25k a year for the software development seems um, grossly uh, yeah. you know, uh, under, under uh, estimated. Okay. I'm not sure yeah, we, that was just a very, very rough uh, mock-up, but that, uh, yeah, we I wasn't sure exactly how to price that. Um, I don't know if you didn't hear me, but I was just curious if your research, if this space is regulated at all, because you are giving people recommendations to changes in their diet. So I'm just curious if there are any regulations we should have to comply to. Um, so there is like, the, uh, like the FDA can endorse your product or your uh, <coughs> symptom tracker. We wouldn't be under that category. Um, it's just we're, we're only telling people to like eat broccoli or eat just any, any food. Um, so it's not like prescribing a medicine. Uh, so it's not like those regulations. Um, so, so no, not, not really. We don't claim to be a, like an actual medicine. So. No, if that answered your question. Thanks so much, Joe. Thank you. Thank you.
is all of our um, entrepreneurial presentations. So now we want to give our judges a chance to just confer in private and uh, come up with, with um, both the first and second place pitches, as well as come up with some helpful feedback that you can kind of share with the whole group in addition to what's written there, just some kind of general comments to help people um, do better next time. So we can, I, I can take you outside. If, um, Tom, do we have a space back, back there? Is that gonna work? Yeah, we can, we can move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so um, and that'll just, just give you guys some privacy to discuss. Um, so if you wanna just maybe bring your stuff outside. Ben, you got it. What's that? You want, you want the, to call you? Yeah, okay, thank you.